Hello guys, I'm Adriana and today we are going to diagnose and try to solve this Xiaomi Redmi Note 10S. With the help of Leonardo, once again, we are going to continue with another interesting video in our masterclass course. In this series of YouTube videos, we are going to upload only complicated repairs so we are not going to take too long with the disassembly process, we'll just use the fast camera. We are going to remove the motherboard because I think the fault is there. Now we are going to remove the two shields, there are shields that do not need any heat. Now we are going to connect our motherboard to our power supply laboratory to check the consumption. We turn on the device using the two pins of the motherboard. With any metal clip we can do it. Our device consumes 200 million periods and then it comes down. It's a very common failure when the CPU and the memory fails. So let's remove these two circuits. First, we have to remove the shield using 400 Celsius degrees and 80% air. For a successful repair, we have to always revolve the two circuits. The second step consists of removing the resin around the two circuits. For that we apply 200 Celsius degrees and 50% air. In this way we can soften the resin and remove it easily. Now we are going to remove the CPU and the memory applying 400 Celsius degrees and 80% air. As you can see we use a fairly powerful air station which is GBC. We already have the two circuits out of the motherboard. Right now we are going to proceed with the cleaning process. We solder the pads and we clean with the desoldering wick. Whoever is subscribed to our YouTube channel knows how to do these steps without damaging the pads. The next step is very important, we have to clean all the resin around the CPU and the memory. We use a surgical scalpel and the hot air station at 180 Celsius degrees. In this way we remove all the resin. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate, every word I move so descriptive like an adjective. I gotta... If you like this kind of videos, please leave me a strong like and in this way I will continue to upload real repairs from our laboratory. Thank you.
past, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because... After removing part of the resin, we apply a little flux and then, with the tip of the soldering at 350 Celsius degrees, we pass over the two circuits. The truth is, we can use any type of solder. Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help We clean it with isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth. When we find balls joined to each other, we have to apply a little ultraviolet mask and we cure the area. As our device is a medium-low-range device, for this type of work we invoice to our client around 70 euros. Apart from these 70 euros, you get the experience to be able to give solution to others and other devices. In the mid-range, it's much more complicated to do a rebelling to a CPU than a high-end device because practically the motherboard is very thin and can be bent easily. To clean the CPU, we use the same steps, a little flux, solder paste and then the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. We clean with the desoldering wick and that's it. The failure in the CPU is because of these dark pads. Normally, they lose communication with the motherboard. And after dribbling, we solve this failure. The surface of the CPU has to be like this, very clean. In this way, when we gonna soldering it, we don't have any problems. We are going to do the same steps with the memory. We reball the CPU using an AliExpress stencil. In the description of this video, I will leave you the links from where to buy it. We reball the CPU as if it were any integrate circuit, as if it were an audio integrate circuit. We'll use 425 Celsius degrees and 50% air. The temperature and the airflow depends on each hot air station and of the experience of each technician. We can use between 300 and 450 Celsius degrees, approaching or moving away the nozzle of the stencil. We also reball the memory and then we are going to solder these circuits. We apply a little flux and we place the memory. We can use a variety of temperatures. I repeat, it all depends on each air station. In this case, we have used 400 Celsius degrees and 30% air.
with some small blows we are 100% that the memory is well soldered. We apply a little flux and we place the CPU. Remember that each integrate circuit has a notch or a circle in one corner to know the correct position. I've been driving this train, years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame, cause I came to the game and I changed it to play, how I like rearranged it to my own domain, yeah I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed, all the squad here to play. To know if the CPU is well positioned, you have to observe these lateral lines carefully. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flat. Here we have our motherboard and we are going to check it. Stop till I hear him say. It seems that our device turns on perfectly but does not transmit any image. We are going to measure the battery now. Everything indicates that they received the load well. I have to test a new screen, so I'm going to bring one. Now we are going to connect the charger to observe the load. If you want to learn more about CPU repairs, please leave me a comment above. Guys, this was today's video. He is Leonardo. We hope you like it and see you next time. Bye bye. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show